Hello everyone, it's Emmy. Welcome back. So my fellow MRE taster, Gundog, sent me a few little treats to do a bit of an MRE hack. So Gundog, thanks so much for sending this to me and making this episode possible. What he sent me are two little items, this one and this. So these little bits and bobs come from an MRE, which is short for meal ready to eat, and it contains one meal for a US soldier, and everything is pre-cooked and contained. So this is a dessert from one of them. This is the carrot pound cake, and this is a strawberry banana dairy shake. So understandably, soldiers are very resourceful, and this little hack involves transforming this dairy shake into a frosting. What we're gonna do is open up this carrot cake pound cake. I've never actually had the carrot cake, there it is, we don't want to eat this ageless desiccant. So there it is, it smells pretty good. It smells really cinnamony. Looks like there's a little bit of carrot in there. And we're gonna set that aside. Next, we're gonna open up our shake, pour that in here. Ooh, it's white. And we'll just add a little bit of water. Ooh, look, it's a smiley face. <laughs> gonna add a little bit of water at a time to form this into a frosting. Wow, this is quite appropriate. This would be great for a birthday cake. So vividly pink. Don't wanna to add too much, just a little at a time. I think that's plenty of water. Not surprisingly, it smells like Nestle Quick, like that instant strawberry banana drink stuff. All right, so out of curiosity, let's just give it a taste by itself. Hmm. Hmm. And it tastes just like that next to quick strawberry banana. Very artificial strawberry and banana. I'm not a huge fan of banana, as some of you may know, but in this case, it's not so bad because you've got that addition of strawberry. It's got kind of a slightly whipped texture to it, which is kind of fluffy and strange, but for a frosting, it's actually not too bad. I'm gonna try the carrot cake by itself. Give that a taste. Hmm, and it tastes like carrot cake. Very cinnamony, mm, a little crumbly, and a little bit oily, but it doesn't taste bad, not too sweet. And I think there's a little bit of nutmeg in there as well. Yeah, very typical kind of carrot cake. Now we're gonna turn this into a birthday cake <laughs> by frosting it. It's pretty thick. Well, I'm trying to make it look lovely, but it's, it's pretty challenging because the cake is kind of crumbly. All right, moment of truth. Let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Hmm. I'll give it points for inventiveness, but in terms of taste, hmm, not so great. I feel like the carrot cake was perfectly fine on its own and really didn't need an addition of strawberry and banana, but it definitely makes it more festive and sweeter. So if you're looking for that, then this definitely fits the bill. But yeah, a little too much for me. <laughs> hmm. Thanks again, Gundog, for sending this to me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. The whole cup. Now you know why the mayonnaise was so important. Because not only for flavor, but it's going to make our cheese stick. This is such a beautiful color. Yes.